Snow continues to fall for many of us tonight. It started around 10 this morning, and now we're back to real winter driving conditions. Our meteorologist Adam Bell is joining us from outside on the weather patio with how long this snow will last and how much we might see. Adam. Well, Donna, things have quieted down significantly over the last uh, several hours in terms of the snowfall, but we're looking at some of that wind beginning to pick up, and that's going to make it from very cold temperatures tonight, and we still have that winter driving conditions, as you mentioned, overnight tonight as well. Let's take a look at our severe warning, warning map, and you can see yellows, blues, and reds. We've got winter storm watches, warnings, and advisories. One, the warnings and advisories are for this specific storm. The watch, believe it or not, is for the next storm that's going to occur starting late Monday all the way through Thursday afternoon across most of Montana. So a long duration event, potentially more snow than we've already seen with this storm in the last 12 hours. As we look at the uh, satellite radar composite locally, not really much showing up on the radar right now. So things are going to quiet down as we go into the overnight hours, but it's going to get very cold. In fact, these numbers right now, current temperatures are actually the lows for the day for many of us. And the numbers are actually going to fall into the single digits, possibly below zero for a few of us as well. Best chance for the snow is going to be in the short term between now and about noontime tomorrow, then a few leftover flurries. We dry out on Tuesday, but we are looking at another batch of snow. Once again, potentially more snow than we've already seen this last storm. We'll also recap the numbers from this storm in my 70 forecast and much more coming up in Weather Maine in about five minutes. All right, Adam, thank you very much. Remembering the man and his message.